This is what the church is lacking. True humility and true love. That's why the church is in turmoil. Because there is no true love and no true humility. We're all faking it. We're all acting. We call each other brothers. We're lying through our teeth. Where is the love of brotherhood? Where is it? Where is it? If we were true brothers of Christ, today the entire church should have stood up and said no to this evil agenda. But there is no brothers of Christ. They're all cowards. They have sold their master Jesus with 30 pieces of silver like Judas Iscariot. Today Judas is ruling. Not Peter. Not the rock. Today is Judas. So don't ever call yourself Peter and you are sitting on the seat of Peter. You are a Judas Iscariot. If you were truly Peter, you would have done what Peter had done. He crucified himself downward. His head pointing down to, to kiss the, the thorn, uh, the, the, the nail that went into the feet of Christ. He said, I'm not worthy to be crucified like my Lord. I'm not worthy to crucify me upside down so that my lips kiss the nail that went into his feet for my sake. This is Peter. You call yourself Peter now? Shame on you. And shame on every church leader that's gone quiet. And every time I remember children and they want to put this poison in these children, I want to rip them apart, all of them. Parents, don't let anyone touch your children. They have put enough poison from birth. Autism, where did it come from? How come all of a sudden it has spread so viciously? No parent is autistic. It's not in the genes. It's in the poison. Every third child is autistic. My goodness, these big farmers, evil, evil doers, they're killing humanity. And churches are going quiet in the name that governments are from God. And now doctors are from God. And they're going to say, you know what, people? You, if you didn't know this, well, if you didn't know this, even this poison is from God. Really? It's very sad. There's no more men, real men, standing for what is right, standing for what is dignity, standing for what is humanity, standing for what is identity, standing for what is called true freedom, standing above all for God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is no real man anymore. And I'm talking about the church. And I'm talking about the church leaders. There is no real men to stand for Jesus Christ anymore. That's why the Lord is going to teach a huge lesson to church leaders. He's going to start from the highest rank, by the way. There are some hierarchies now, even if they think they rule the world, they're not going to be there very soon, very, very soon, if they do not repent and come down from their high horses and put their head at, at the feet of Christ. They're not going to be there. The Lord is going to teach these big, big, big caliber boys a lesson of their life. And he will make an example so that no one else dares to come into the church and say, I'll do whatever I want. It is either Christ's way or there is no other way. You will remember this. There will be church leaders. They will vanish if they do not repent very soon. Christ has come back already.